sorry about that last time. I gotta, you probably won't even tell, but um, I did forget in the last one to show Jennifer's tail. And I shouldn't say last one because I haven't cut them together and uploaded them, but um, but this is as you can see her tail is it's it's stiff and kind of pressing. But it is, it does have the, like the Chinese dragon feel to it. Um, it's got the, it doesn't have the same pattern as your skin. It's got more, well, it's actually got two sides. It's got like the underside, which is like this. And then the other side's the one that's got like her skin. And as you can see, it attaches like all the other tails on all the other dolls. So... That's Jennifer. And I brought over so that I don't have to go get her. Um, Gulia. And this is Scaris Gulia. Again, another one of the. Um, she was another one of the dolls that, um, out of all the Gulias in the store, she was the one I liked the most. If I couldn't get original. And it's kind of hard to find those ones now. Sorry, I'm trying to fix her arm. Kind of. Alright. So to split. Please. Got her trademark glasses. Which are cute. I also liked, I don't know if you can tell, but they've got, there's a little bit of glare on them. They have actual glass in them, which is really cute. I don't know why I thought that was cute, but I thought it was adorable. And I just noticed on this Goya, if you see this side of her lip, it kind of looks like the make makeup is where it's supposed to be, and this side's a little off. I don't think it's supposed to be like that. I think it's just this Goya, which is weird. I love her zipper earrings, or the zipper um, polar earrings, and she's got a really pretty blue hair, and um, she's got like parted and like the high ponytail which is, uh, I, I love her hair um, this, the All My Dolls, I know other people have said that um, they have issues with their hair being really gelled um, but out of the ones I got, the only one that seems really gelled is Laguna with her little curls but I didn't brush it out because I wanted the curls to say where they were at and then to continue on Gulia, she has, flip her over she has the cute little, her hair rolled. Um, she's got this little hoodie, which is kind of cute. It's got a little, um, I love the little design on the front with the, the bones, the chest, with the ribs and sternum and stuff. And the pocket, and if you look at the pocket, it kind of looks like brain matter, which is cute. Um, and that you can, um, well, I said you can, but now I can't get it in there. Is it just one side? I know they open. Anyways, you can kind of see they do open because I've accidentally had Glee's hand go in there. Let's see. Anyways, her pockets do open, and you can put her hands in there if you wanted. Um... The Scarus Gulia did not come with a stand either. I don't know why. Um, I do know from watching other videos of other dolls that some of the dolls don't come with a stand. Um, and then down here at the bottom are her boots, which are cute. They have a little skullet on the side. And the tied up, they're kind of like uh, high heeled combat boots, which is really cute. Um, so that is the, um, Scaris Gulia, and, um, I do plan on getting another one tomorrow, which will be Monday. I might tape, video, not tape, shows my age, <laughs> um, record, um, which doll I hunt for and buy. I know around here, 
at the Walmart here in Florida, there was a lot of um, Ginifier, and there was only one Scalita, which I kind of regret not getting Scalita first now, but um, there were a lot of the Skull Shores and um, the, the Roller Maze Gullias and the Roller Maze Operettas. Um, there was a lot of picture day around here too, so I'll, I'll tape video record that to show. Um, I did bring these over here because I wanted to show you the accessories some of them came with. This was operettas from the uh, dance class. Kind of cute. It kind of looks like those, um, on this side it looks like a record. You can't really see the lines, bad lighting. But this side you can probably just make out the, the music notes that are on it and then the handle and this does open it just kind of pops open there's nothing in it which I think most of them have nothing in it but it was I don't know why I was hoping for something to be in it but it's kind of cute it looks like a little duffel bag for you know exercising and working out and it's very operetta with the music um, this was a little pumpkin thing that um Draculaura came with, and I, you know, you can say I have something in it, but, um, and it's cute, it's got the little Draculaura skull lid on it, you can probably see right there, and there's the little bow, and it's got, like, ooze coming out of the top, it's really cute, um, this was Jennifer's um, luggage, and I, I, I don't know if I can get the great detail in there. I mean, these this has a lot of detail in it. You can probably see the skullet and the fans and the dragon down. Very Chinese dragon. You can see the inspiration. More fans. Um, they've got little designs here. And even, even the backside. This is what I was... That was so cool. The backside has even got designs on it. It was very cool. And then the wheels do move. And then the handle is, um, if you've ever seen like a pagoda, the handle looks kind of like the top of a pagoda. And inside, inside mine, I have the little skull that came with um, Ghoul's Rule Draculaura. But in the inside, it's also designed because it's got, it looks like the little pockets, like if you are packing up your own luggage, and it looks kind of um, like it like the padding inside of a luggage, which is kind of cute. So I thought that was kind of cute. It looks very luggage. I almost halfway wished that these would go down like like normal luggage, but it doesn't. It's okay. I'll put that back in there. I don't know why. That was kind of cute for display for that to be like that, you know, the little skull popping out. And this was Gulia's. It's her purse. You can see Gulia's skull out on the front, and it's got like stuff oozing out. And it's even, I don't know if you can really see, like the the handle is bones. And it's got like a little tie, like the little skull at the top. And the um, the clip, uh, you can probably see the detail. I mean, this has got a lot of detail on it, too. Like, they show the clip. And then, you know, more stuff oozing out. The back is, is plain on this one. But they got the sides and everything. And then this one opens up. And I do, I put the, um, the barber bands that were inside of, from the packaging. Because, um, like you saw on the... Laguna, I figured it was easier if you had them so you can put their stuff with them. So that is currently the collection I have with the other ones I just didn't leave right there. That's not part of anything that's... And then there's the little accessories that I have so far. Um, and you can probably see back there a mess of dollhouse. That's, um, that's a something coming up soon. Um, I'm just going to make a dollhouse out of it. So, um, we'll see. And, um, so that is that for right now. Um, thank you for watching. You can, uh, rate and everything and leave comments. Um, 
this is the first review that I've done and like I said um, if you want to see the boxes in the next video when I do um, I don't know who I'm going to get on Monday <laughs> but um, if you want to see the, the boxes um, I did keep the boxes for displaying um, if you can, I don't know if you can see, you can kind of see up there, I've got, like, um, of course you can see Dracula, and then Laguna is in her, the background of her box, and Operatus in the background of her box, um, that is a, a Barbie thing that I had, and I kind of took the stickers off, and I bought, um, Monster High stickers, but behind it is the um, Scaris set, and you can kind of see right there where my finger's pointing. It says Monster High. It's another thing that I kept from a different thing. So, um, so that is that far. Thanks for watching, and I'll be back with another one.